To install Python on Windows 11, open your browser, go to the address bar at the top, and type in python.org. When the site comes up, hover over the Downloads menu and click on All Releases. This should give you the download for the latest version of Windows. Currently we have version 3.13.5 You'll either have this version or a later one. Regardless, click on the button and wait for the download to complete. Once the file is downloaded, you want to open or run the file, depending on how your browser refers to that. And once you see the Python installation pop up, close your browser so that it doesn't distract and get in the way. Now before you click on anything here, first select these two boxes, Use Admin Privileges when installing py.exe, and Add Python.exe to Path. Now instead of just clicking on Install Now, we're going to click on Customize Installation so that we can see what's being installed and have some control over it. So Python itself, of course, the core features will be installed. These are the optional features, documentation, pip, which can download and install either Python, patch, Python packages, tickle and idle, IDE development environments, Python test suite, PyLauncher, and our admin privileges check off for this area. We're gonna go ahead and keep those all checked off and click on next. And let's check off install Python for all users and download debugging symbols. If you have Visual Studio 2017 or later installed, also check off download debug binaries. Now click install and click yes if there's a prompt and then wait for Python setup to complete. Now we are on the setup with successful screen. The first thing we want to do here, if you see it, is disable path length limit. So there's a standard 260 character limit to your Windows path, but uh, adding Python to your path and other things uh, can easily go over that. So click on that, click yes if there's a confirmation prompt and Windows will now be able to hand handle much larger, larger paths. Also, before you close this window, you may want to click on some of the links here. For example, if we click on Online Tutorial, the Online Tutorial will open up in your browser. You can drag that down to your Favorites bar, minimize your browser, click on Documentation, Add a favorite for that as well. Minimize. If you're interested in what's new or using Python on Windows, click on either one of those and also create a shortcut. And that way you can easily refer to these helpful areas later in the game. Now click on close and Python has been installed. Let's confirm that we'll right click on our start button, open up a terminal, and we'll type in Python, two dashes, and version. It shows us we do have Python 3.13.5 installed and running. We can close that and if we click on our start button and click on all, the top right hand corner, you can click on any letter and then click on P to get down to the P section. You now see that we have 
Python 3.13 as a folder. And here we have some of the Python links. So let's right click and pin to start for each of those. Now, when we go back into our start menu, we can see our Python options. So idle is the basic Python IDE and Python 3.13. If we click on that, this is the command line interface for working with Python. For example, we can simply say two plus two, hit enter and get an answer. Of course, Python programming is much more syntactical than that, but this shows that the command line interface is working.